someone says I can't do something, that kind of upsets me and makes me want to, you know, do it. On a wheelchair, not in it, because when you say you're in a wheelchair, it sounds like the wheelchair owns it, like you're part of the wheelchair. No, you're just riding it. Meet David Mitchell, a man full of will, determination and very positive intentions. His motivation to succeed in life comes after helping others. He has a passion for equality. This passion not only drives his career, but is his personal life alike. He has a confident ambition to develop wheelchairs, which not only work comfortably as standard wheelchairs, but can also transform into a standing up position. His goal is to provide others with any disabilities, equality and fairness in life. We met with David to find out more about his interest in life and how he plans to achieve his dream of helping others. Let me say where I started. I've always been into sport from a young boy, um, rugby league, um, got to professional level. At the same time, I was a kickboxer. I was the European heavyweight champion sparring partner. I signed about a year ago for Bradford Bulls Rugby League Club. That the main team I play for the wheelchair team, and I was able-bodied. I'm able-bodied now, although they brought me back about eight weeks ago. I look after some uh, A-list celebrities. I'm asked to go along as personal security to them. I was working with um, Mike Tyson. You've heard of Muhammad Ali. I was just on a tour with him and some of the security people at me and they say, look at that silly old guy. But the silly old guy doesn't miss much. You know, if I'm looking after you and your family, nobody will get to you and your family. Diane Roy of Canada gets it. Shelley Woods in second place. The world record It's hard work. Really, I got blistered, I got calluses there. And mentally, people look over you when you sat there, they're the last person pushing you. And then there's a horrible thing, I find it offensive, really offensive, that people sit in a wheelchair and have to do that. Yeah, phew. The tie goes through all the wet, all the crap on the roads. So I thought, oh, that's not good. So let's stand, stand people up. Let's stand them up. If we get a bar, I don't know if you've seen a ratchet, ratchet where you undo a boat and it goes, oh, yeah. Okay. And it, it, one way it's got top and the other way it hasn't. And you have two bars that come up and you just do that. And, and, and move that far, I would move your wheels twice. Very, very fast. You've got two wheels so you could push around like that. When you stand up, it falls up and you go other ways. And you'll be strapped in, you'll have a harness on. And you can go have a drink. You can go shopping to Tesco's. You can go into the library and take your books and you're not having to wait for people to do it. There's still going to be problems because you've got to the wheels around. Um, but that, that's what will do, improve the life, just to give people independence. I mean, no matter what ailment or illness or disability anyone's got, they're allowed to do it. And my job would make sure they do it and we'll do everything as we can to make it as safe as possible. And that nobody ridicules them for trying something. That, that is in a nutshell. If you gave me a million pound now, I can't do it. It's not possible. We've got a couple of, you know, major people who we're going to see, big companies, worldwide companies. There's someone like James Dyson, the Hoover person. He's got the infrastructure to do there. Problem is, how do we talk to James Dyson? That's easy. He won't talk to me or he won't talk to you because he's, he's inundated all the time. He will talk to somebody like Mike Tyson or, or a film star or, or a pop star. Andre, Peter Andre, because we've been offered him before, whether you like him or not, he'll fill a stadium. And it's not about money, it's, it's cost me a lot to do everything I do. And if people would forget about the pot of money and, and do good hard work and get a good foundation behind them, that there would be a massive one at the end of the rainbow, but we, 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 will, we will get there. So, that's where I started. Big answer to a little question. <laughs> yeah.